that does too. But what's it, what's it like to just try to scheme in a game that has that type of shot making? When you're, when, I mean, every guy's like they were hot. Yeah, I mean, we ch we changed some ball screen coverages at times, and we were moving uh, our matchups all over the place to try to. Uh, to try to slow down their their role, uh, <clears throat> thought about zone a few times, but the, you know with the level of shot making, we just didn't we just didn't feel like we would rather have them take some tough twos and uh, <clears throat> be able to shoot those threes. And as crazy as it sounds, that you know not having Posh Alexander totally changed our defensive plan because Posh doesn't shoot a bunch of threes, uh, <clears throat> while he impacts the game in a lot of ways. Uh, and obviously they'd have been better defensively with him on the floor. Uh, <clears throat> you know, the guys that they put out there in his place made shots. You know, uh, Biz Jacks made, uh, I think, two threes in concert conference plays, made three tonight. I think uh, Kapke's made two all year, or maybe three all year. Uh, he made two tonight. So they, they had some guys really step up um, and, and make shots. Um, and, you know, normally, uh, you know, we're pretty good at defending that. And, and like, I, like Baylor said, what I said in the locker room, I've, I've got to watch it <clears throat> and see. You know, there were times, like, you can't foul three-point shooters. We did it twice at six points. It's a game. Uh, can't do that. <clears throat> but there were, uh, you know, how much of it was them making, you know, really good shots, tough shots, and how much of it was, was our mistakes. The problem is in a game like this, you know, the mistakes are magnified. Mac, I, I think Dad had said that he thought the game was decided with their depth, with their bench, they had 25 bench points. Well, how big do you think their depth was tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, Bizjack comes off and, you know, scores 11 and, and, and Kapke gets, gets eight, and those, those were huge. Uh, you know, Screen has been playing more minutes and, and Kapke's not. Uh, so, you know, to, in an effort to pull Kalkbrenner away from the basket, they, they went with a younger kid and, and he threw in a couple shots. Uh, <clears throat> but... You know they, these guys have played big minutes all season long, but I, you know obviously their um, you know their bench did a heck of a job. I, I'm pretty sure we, we know your answer, but I mean the look you guys got today, <coughs> fighting for the offensive rebound, getting another one. How'd you feel about the, the last basically stretch you guys had to tie it? Yeah, you know I, I can't remember how much time was left. Baylor had one in front of our bench too yeah. uh, that was wide open, and then Trey got you know two wide open shots. Uh, and then we had the ball, and and you know we decided to go to Trey. Uh, he's he's been our you know, most consistent player at crunch time. And, you know, he had a half step on him and he half, half a step on him, and he dribbled it off his foot. You know, you know, there were a couple defensive stops down there. We made great plays. The ball bounced around and ended up right in their hands. You know, some nights <laughs> it doesn't bounce your way either. And, uh, you know, we would we would run that play 100 times again for Trey uh, because he's been so efficient in those moments for us this season. Two more. I mean, this, game, this league isn't very forgiving. You're, you're going to go to Providence and Xavier next <coughs> How do you uh, keep the chins up, you know, knowing that this was a tough one to start February, but <coughs> them kind of ready for, for buzz saws that they're Yeah, I mean, you look at the stat sheet, in some ways it's hard to believe we lost. You know, we we made double the free throws they did, uh, you know, out-rebounded them by 10, uh, shot 55% on our home floor. Uh, you know, if you'd have told me that going in, I was I would tell you we're going to win handily. Um, but their shot making was elite. Uh, <coughs> and like I said, we, we'll – We'll take it like we do every game. You don't, you don't really have time to feel sorry for yourself in this league. Uh, you know, you better win or lose. You, you, you watch it, you learn from it, and then you, you, you wipe it and you move on to the next one. Because if, if you spend a day or two feeling sorry for yourself, those are, those are two days that you're not preparing for another really good team. And uh, as I said, going into this game, February is going to be a beast. It's going to be a bear. And uh, I knew Butler was really good. Uh, you, you don't go to Marquette and win unless you're really good. Um, and they they played as uh, you know as well offensively tonight as as anybody's played against us all season. Uh, ran a lot smaller lineup tonight. How much of that was matchup? And how much of that was just the way the chips fell with the shot making? It was it was matchup. Uh, all you know mostly all matchup driven. Uh, you know we we wanted to get uh, Baylor you know slid over on uh, on Telford. We liked that matchup the best. And there really just wasn't anybody for our fours to guard if we did that. Uh, so we decided to go with Bello and his experience. And, um, you know, like I said, we offensively, we, we easily played well enough to win. Uh, and, you know, we'll look at the film and see where we can clean up some things as we move into next week for a tough road trip. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mike.